Welcome to the Corruption Stockpile. This time with a slight spooky theme. And, uh, be aware. Visual epilepsy. Be aware of it. You know, avoid looking at the screen. As always, you should know that. You've watched any of these corruption streams, you would already know that. If you haven't, then now you do. So be careful, because this is visual and audio diarrhea. Okay. So, let's begin the presentation. What do we have tonight? So, I have a collection here by Mugi of ColecoVision games. So, back in my day, the horror game was the horror game. N no, seriously though, what... I, I don't know what inspired Mugi to make ColecoVision Corruptions, but there is something a little frightening about... like, super, super low visual fidelity video games. I think, specifically... Um... Obviously, Faith comes to mind. Faith 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so the name of this is... Chuck Norris Pant Stealer. Alright, so I'm Chuck Norris. And I have to... Uh-huh. Down L is is the kick. Oh, there's the kick. Okay, I see. So, so I have to actually know how to... Oh, wow, I did it. Uh, did I steal the pants already? Oh, wait, yeah, I did. So I'm I'm the blue dude. I'm I'm in the um the medical uniform from Star Trek. Excellent. Touch the guy to steal the pants. <laughs> All right, sure. What even is this game? Oh my god. Some of us are so lucky we grew up later in the video game. Like sure, I'll never see Led Zeppelin live, but you know, at least I have good video games. Fuck. So this is, um... Another Chuck Norris thing. First worst game is Face Maker. Oh. But it was not included because it's just that bad. Captain. I have experienced emotions from this game. What kind of emotions, Mr. Data? I wish to vomit, Captain. Mm, motor oil, in particular. To vomit is human, Data. So, so this is L plus, yeah, leapfrog. It's a brand new move. Wow. Huh. Th this game is really fun. Have I had fun with it. Okay, so this is Smurfs. So this this looks actually like a Smurf. And, um. Uh huh. You okay there, Smurf? Smurf friend? A second. I just threw a couple manual blasts at it. I, I just wanted to see if, if I could actually like corrupt it further. Oh yeah. Yeah, easily. ColecoVision has nothing on corruptions. Oh, 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 oh. Look at look at the Smurf emerging from the blue cocoon. Huh. Okay, so um, so, so I get to play as Smurf. Now. Oh, holy fuck!
And I have a limiter on too, chat. I'm gonna have to increase the power of the limiter. Am I painting a tree? Oh, so this is like an activity game, but it's bad? Oh. I guess it's kind of like Color a Dinosaur, but you, you, the corruptions have made it... Like, it's weird playing games that I have no conception of. Conception? Perception? Like, corrupting games that I've never played before, I, I don't know what's the game and what's corrupted. You could tell me this is a ColecoVision game, and I'd be like, for a minute, I was like, oh, this is just me trying to figure out Smurf paint and play. The transformation is complete. No, it's not. It's just beginning. Who, who the fuck is the Smurf? It's Papa Gargamel Smurf. Gargamel managed to infiltrate Smurf society, Smurf society, by becoming Papa Smurf, but but his veneer is is like melting. It's like a scanner darkly. Soon Papa Smurf will be Papa Roach. Pain and play. It says, none of this was intended or edited. The music isn't even in the game. This music is not in the game. Pain and play, Eco Demon. Holy shit, okay. Let's corrupt it further. It's getting nice and corrupted now. Good. I don't know, this Smurf is a little thick. M main and P. It doesn't like that at all. I'm just adding layers of corruptions on top of other layers of corruptions. And seeing, you know, just manual blasting until we get... A, a, M Demon. There you go. Oh man, this tone is is like piercing right through my skull. My demon. Go again. It it doesn't even like, ColecoVision can't handle the most minimal of corruptions. But of course, what did one expect? Oh, we're connecting to dial-up again. Alright, next. Burger time. I'm aware of this. Um, so...
Am I double burger chef? Dream. All right, drip. I need I need you to split into seven guys so you can make the crazy hamburger, okay? Okay, I need you to make crazy hamburger. Then we can make a casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. We'll call it the Borglada. I bet people thought these graphics were amazing. Oh, that's weird. The arrow keys are actually cycling through the stockpile player. Uh, let me click into BizHawk. That probably... Yep, that's exactly why. Okay. But yeah, the name of this is Ghost Peppers. Hard mode. Again, I couldn't tell you what is even really corrupted here, but... Holy fuck. DIY Burgers, easy mode. Well, there's, like, enemy, like, sh sausages and eggs on the loose right now, chat. Oh, it's easy mode because the burgers just keep dropping. Alright, four full burg. We didn't even need to do much. Could you imagine the ice cream? Like, you don't want a burger with accidental ice cream on it. That would be a bad burger. I mean, unless you're weird and... Like, some people dip their fries in their Frosty. In, you know, nondescript company named Frosty. What is this meat? Is this, like, green rotten meat? Or is it, like, a pickle burger? What the fuck is going on here? So the, the name of <laughs> this corruption is Mr. Beans. Oh. Well, that ended quickly. Yep, those are beans. That's beans. And what about this? That's beans. And how, how about this? That's beans. This, the name of this is Beans PC Waiting Room. God damn it. Well, let's corrupt it. Ooh. God. God! This is limiter on! I like that bean lad. That's a good lad. Here's the true horror of the corruptions for Spooptober. ColecoVision sound chip. Alphabet Zoo. Alphabet Zoo? Uh, a simple one first to set expectations. Okay, so there's controls. Uh, <laughs> resents. <laughs> Alphabet Zoo resents. What's even happening here? Is, this, is something supposed to happen? Spinnaker presents Alphabet Zoo. Huh. Ah, uh, I said the funny. That's what. You, yeah, I guess that's what you wanted. What? What? <laughs> Is this a company name being spelled funny? Okay. This could be on, like, the TV or computer of a horror game set in the 80s. Like, this is what you'd be seeing. A 
Did it just create a hieroglyphic? Uh, is there even a game here? <laughs> what is going on? Toddler has a meltdown is the name of this corruption. It says, this is me when I was four years old. I messed up a drawing and then threw a huge hissy fit and scribbled all over the whole page while crying about it. Y yes. Yeah, me too. I'm sure it's most of us have had a similar experience, but what the fuck is this game even? Um, it says, guess the animal. Was that like animals? Like, like tadpoles? Um, it's a heart. It's a, it, it's a, okay. This animal is, uh, was almost a, a, a butterfly. Almost. Never mind that. This is, this is a, um, um, a, a skeleton. Uh, this is a sad person. Uh, what, what, I don't know what animal that is. This is a frog. It's a frog. It's a, um, this, the, uh, it's, it's a, 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 um, uh, this one is a, oh, an, um, a goat man, <laughs> uh, du dump, dumpy, frumpy. I don't know what this is. I, I can't- I've not gotten a single animal correct. I've been trying to guess. <laughs> I, oh, it's, wait, 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 bird? Bur- Bird demon. No, nothing. I got nothing. I, it's not- these aren't animals as far as I can tell. Continue. That is a majestic dancing horse with a very slim waistline and it's gone. Fish. Oh look, we got something. Oh, that's nice. We... It managed to actually get one right. Our first animal. <laughs> and... and... <laughs> it's Pikachu! Ant. It would have been an ant. Spider ant? R? R. Nope. Not even close. It, now it's coloring outside the bounds of the of the box, so I guess we'll just we'll just wait for this to fill in the entire screen. It's it's Martin Scorsese as a stick insect. This is a a butt. It, that's a butt. That is a butt owl. It's that's a butt. That, now it's kanji. Um, this is, I think it, it's a cherry bomb. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, pigeon, kind of. Well, it had potential. Okay, uh, yes. Uh-huh. This is so entertaining. That's Pikachu. That's Pikachu looking into the sunset. That was extremely entertaining, and nothing was happening. I love it. So this is going to continue. Just how long is this going to take now? All right, never mind. Let's continue. Uh, Alphabet Zoo. Also, this is Alphabet Zoo. So if you didn't know what the fuck this game was before, you won't now. Um, oh god, it's, it's, oh, oh god. You play as Yoda. As the smiley face stares into your soul. That is a shit posty look if I've ever seen one. <laughs> you 
Yes, I have a minute and a half to solve this. Clearly. Trying to keep the, the limiter going so you can still hear what's happening. Not like anyone needs to hear what's happening here. Alright, next, Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh. Seriously, this could be like the birth of a game jam horror game. Some of this stuff tonight. Uh oh. Like that game that Airdorf made that I played last week. This feels like the start of that, and like everything feels innocent, and then it gets all weird, and then eventually, you know, the monster. Am I winning? Hell, my high score is about to go, like, to the highest number, even higher. I think I'm winning. Wow. Good game. Um... Awesome. Oh, great! I'm the winner! So this is just Cabbage Patch Kids, or Cabbage Patch Pitfall, basically. But I can skip through every scene. Man, I'm so happy I didn't have a ColecoVision. I do have a ColecoVision plug-and-play, which I streamed, and I remember nothing. Hey, Vinny, I went to New York a few years ago, and the Sabaro pizza was really good. <sighs> Lord, give me strength. So this is called the Impossible Level? Why I die. Dude, next time you're in New York, get some real pizza, okay? Get Little Caesar. It's better here. Welcome to City 17. Yeah, so this really is, like, Pitfall, but, um, the, the only Pitfall was, was trying to play the game. Oh my god. No, it really is an impossible level. That's why we need to play Donkey Kong. Is that a Mario ghost? Is that a naked Donkey Kong? Holy shit. Donkey Kong, I need you to split into two guys. Please. Oh, this is a very rough version of Donkey Kong. But again, it's corrupted. Okay, Mario. I, I mean, jump man. That's enough of the hammer. We, we've had enough hammer. I can't complete the level. Jump man. I can't complete the. L Fuck. So I've been told I should probably get to level two. 
So I'm gonna try- Oh, cool barrel! Hey, that barrel was bullshit! That is a bullshit barrel! I don't like this Flesh Kong! And, like, top Donkey Kong's face is- is, like... Come offable. I will patent that. Come offable. Did I win? Also, something weird with the princess? Chat, was that... Did I lose? I think I lost. I don't know how, but yeah! So I'm try real hard to get to level two. Bitch, what killed me? Vinny Pauline, not the princess. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Fake fan. The snakes begin to laugh. Rescued. Oh my god! Oh no! Pauline, what- what is wrong with you? Oh god! It's like the thing! She- she's got, like, a face, but then another head growing out the top of that face. The ritual must be stopped. The name of this one is Donkey Kong, but you're dreaming. So this is good. You can't throw a punch. You can't run. You can't even climb ladders. Holy fuck. Donkey Kong's face is, is cycling. There, there's no jump functionality in this nightmare world. None. No jump. No attack, no protect, nothing! I'm alright. Imagine a world where Jumpman can't jump. Even in the dream, Jumpman could jump. I was hoping maybe Mario could- or, sorry, Jumpman could vibrate these barrels out of existence, but it's not happening. Donkey Kong, no jump run. Oh well. Holy shit. Donkey Kong just looks like a Butterbean. Do you remember that wrestler Butterbean? Like, he's just ready to fucking, like, go into the ring and fight the rock. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Donkey Kong is now a coconut, says chat members. Maybe. Maybe so. This music is quite frightening. You know, again, we've heard some corrupted music, but something about really, really crusty, like, 8-bit pixel music. I like to call it pixel music because I'm a, I'm a dumbass. But yes, corrupted uh, chiptunes is a thing of beauty.
I feel like this could be the tower in Pokemon. Kinda sounds like ghost noises. And Mario's spirit has fled his body. Welcome to one-on-one -on -one basketball. <laughs> Still more effort than FIFA 2021. The backwards bad, the backwards bad, the backwards bad, the backwards bad. I can walk backwards fast as you can. How do you even play this? You you don't. You just don't. Erd. Twenty four second violation. What was the viol? What, what, huh? Traveling. Well, yeah, they traveled. They're aliens. How else are they gonna get to Earth? They had to travel many light years. In fact. It he go come. Hirupon E.T. wishes to go home. Please. <laughs> Vin, look at the fucking floor. What, there was someone under the floorboards? Let me see. On this one? Oh, it's- oh, it's a penis. I see. Chat was seeing... There was like, um... Mm -hmm. Could you imagine they left that in the code? Like, one of the programmers just, like, programmed that and, like, made it so that you can't- can't see it. And then, you know, 40 years later... Through corruptions, we've discovered the hidden penis of one-on-one -on -one basketball. That would get a did you know gaming. Holy shit. The, <laughs> this one is called Get Quantum Dunked. Someone in chat just said that was an anime move. That was the final smash of this game. Mr. Do. <laughs> of course, the name of the corruption is Mr. Can't. Uh, so I've never played Mr. Do. Is, is that the titular Mr. Do on the left? Wearing the ghost outfit? <laughs> oh. How about Mr. Don't? The name of this corruption is Mr. Shouldn't. Oh man, there's so many low-hanging fruits for tonight's stream. Like, for these corruptions. Look, I'm getting some right now. That looks like a character. You see that? There's like the thing on the top right, the ball. It looks like Carl. Like it was like Carl Pilkington as a fruit. But like also like kind of, you know, like, like he stepped on a Lego. It's Carl as if he were an orange and stepping on a Lego on the, the top right there. <laughs> that right there. <laughs> A fucking orange. This is a game called Artillery Duel. So, I guess this is a non corruption, just so we could see what the thing looks like. Is it worms, kind of? Yeah.
Oh god, this this is just like It just could you imagine waiting for your younger brother to take a turn? Oh god, it would be so insufferable. Cool for ColecoVision though. It's early, like it's early worm. And um, you know, there's a lot of games like this. Scorched Earth predates worms. Oh. So, now here's the corruptions of it. <laughs> it's trying to... It's trying to draw mountains, but it can't. Close. Almost. Oh. Holy shit. I just feel bad for it. It's giving up. It can't draw the mountains. It's like me. I can't draw. This is the precursor to Minecraft, though, if you think about it. There's a direct line. Lineage. Lineage. Say it with me out loud. Lineage. Let's give it another chance to draw some mountains, and then I'll even corrupt it again. I mean, it gets close a couple times. I just wish it didn't give up so quickly. That's almost a mountain. I apologize to all of your dogs for this corruption. Fuck! <laughs> wow, not wow. I mean, it's almost a landscape. It's a little weird. It's almost inception y, but it, it, it'll work. It'll do. Vinny, how do you feel having your own category on Twitch? What? what? We do- what? I do? I don't believe that's correct. Corruption? It's pretty cool. Though keep in mind, there is actually a game called Corruption. It's just the clo- it's the closest there is. Oh, I like that music. That was good. Spy Hunter. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go.
<laughs> bum, bum. good it did math chat remember behind every video game is matrix code there's just math behind every pixel okay just like real life we have physics and molecules <laughs> you just can't see them there's math behind the pixels The atomic substructure of life also contains math. It's just not written out in a visible form. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of... Oh, this is cool. It starts, like, super corrupted, and then it eventually unfucks itself. And then you can actually play. Oh. Well, that had good comedic timing. That too. is still Spy Hunter. Do you think all of these cars have spies in them? There's no chance that this dude, the Spy Hunter, is, like, perhaps destroying innocent civilians? Oh, okay. Carnival. So you use a boot to do the shoot. And it's just carnival games. New is love and life. Life begins with new, life ends with new. <laughs> oh my god! Chat, is that safe for work? That fucking, like, lizard thing that... Let me just shoot some birds at, like, aliens. I mean, owls. Same thing. So fucking bizarre. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna reload that again. Look at this. But again, that that is a strange creature, and there's a Koopa, like with a quizzical look on its face, looking at this creature. Please do not draw this for the Buru, by the way. 
We do not need this. You can throw a sensor bar on it if you want. But don't forget the Koopa looking with the raised eyebrow, the furrowed eyebrow. Get five ready, five player, five, one. Four, four, why? Alex. Alex, it's the code. It's the, the music industry code. Four, four, N, A, U. Four, four, five, five, seven. This is a weird corruption pack. It was so fucking, like, sh basic and strange, but yet oddly entertaining. A little bit scary at times, but, like, not scary in that way, but just, just like, disturbing. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. But, yeah, when you corrupt... Like, <laughs> here we are trying to reach for the heavens by corrupting the most modern games possible. And yet, the true magic was hidden in the ColecoVision. I will remember the smile face forever. So thanks, Moogie. Um, next up is a game that I will be playing more than likely next year. And this is something that um, has a, a no-spoiler edition. So it's got to load. I don't want, like, big spoils for this, but, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll know the game instantly, probably. So this is a collection made by Shadow Shuyin, who's in chat right now. Thank you, Shadow. Appreciate the work. Again, if you would like to submit corruptions, please don't use the Vine Sauce ROM Corruptor. I still get emails from people. Um sending me like note like notepad files of like a couple corruptions and codes and it's like we don't use that anymore that that's um a little bit outdated at this point so use the real time corruptor you <laughs> use that and submit the sks files give me one second i just need to load this up again cuz Oh, I need to use PC. Oh, I didn't download this. Do I need to import the um, BIOS over as well? Cheap. Fucking unprepared again. Fuck. Give me a second, chat. Less than 60 seconds away from corruptions. So here's what we're going to do. Just going to take these. Just going to copy-paste these. Where the fuck are they? Uh... I thought I had BIOS sitting around here somewhere. Hmm. All right, I got them. We still need another... 20 seconds or so, but just bear with me a second here.
Okay, it's been longer than 20 seconds, and good. Done. Got it. All right, now, now I need to probably bind controls. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, hang on. So it's Silent Hill 3. It should be pre-bound. Okay, then that's that's good. It just now it needs to load. So at least you get a cool corruption graphic. Here, here's some entertainment in the meantime. Mm -hmm. The ongoing story of the Goblin music video. What will happen? What will happen? Who knows? Second chat. Where am I? Don't worry, you'll be able to see what's happening in just a second. So once again, this stockpile is by Shadow Shuyin, and uh, welcome to the Lakeside Amusement Park. Uh, oh, neck spikes, useful for defense. Oh. Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? Is the better question. Wide! Excuse me. Well, I guess some people got their wish. I got to play Silent Hill 3 this year. <laughs> this is... This is totally normal Silent Hill 3 gameplay, right? I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I what? Can you say that again, please? I can tell from here that it's dead. Saud I call Pui. Look a little. <laughs> what kind of gun? No, 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 you need a, a real pistol, not a BB gun. What? It sure sounds like Silent Hill. I like how the, the the arm turns into a cone. That's cool. That that could be used in many ways. Self defense. What? Whoa. So again, this is a no-spoiler edition, so this is Heather. probably stuff I don't mind seeing. It's you. What 
What I... just happened? <laughs> oh, corruption speak. Them. What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? <laughs> Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm apparently there's spoilers. Inside. That's okay, I'm, I'm, I was fucking with the limiter. But apparently that's spoilers. So I don't know what would be considered spoilers or not, but... I won't remember this next year, chat. Trust me when I say that. I know nothing about this game. And the reason I'm not streaming it this this year is because I want to play Silent Hill 1 first. I've become the sludge monster from the X-Files. Excellent. Or a Xenomorph. X, Xeno. Again, you could probably just have this be a sanity effect in, like, an Eternal Darkness game. You could just have, like, a Corrupter, an Auto-Corrupter, included in the next Eternal Darkness game, and have it do shit like this every so often. And then everyone would get sick. The fuck? I shrunk. Oh, <laughs> that's so small. Whoa. The sound is enveloping me. This corruption is Seinfeld for some reason. Kramer! Dad. Kramlin! Hey. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. What does this have to do oh, with Seinfeld? I get that thing you asked me to. Oh, the bass and the and the drums are fucking sick. Okay, I will. They're I massive. Oh, that's cool. That dude just slid out the way. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Clark. Hello, Douglas. A detective? Really? <laughs> Man, I mean, I thought I had a problem with tank controls, but the camera is so much worse. Okay. Well, this is a good opportunity to, uh, advertise the Vine Mugs. Or this. This this is actually really, really good. 
graphic. Wow. I was gonna say, do you or anyone you know desire the ability to drink coffee, tea, and or any other liquid out of a cool vine mug? Well, if so, Heather recommends it. I mean, the fun really just never ends. This is also a cool noise. Ravenous eating intensifies. Alright, we've had our fun with the green screen. I really like the color contrast in this game. Like, they, they were very bold stylistically with this. Oh, cool enemy. That, again, I probably won't remember next year, but... It's a Suda51 game now, right? <laughs> Here at Vine Sauce, we have innovative new graphics for our segments. Man, that in and of itself was so fucking cool looking. so you can see what's happening. It's just zooming in, it's zooming in on its own, magically. Like, there's a fucking cinematographer here, chat. <laughs> oh, they were grapefruiting. Oh, that's what they were doing? I don't want to make a Nine Inch Nails joke, but this sounds too crazy even for them. Something is happening somewhere. I, um, uh, uh, almost have a better view of it. Okay. The cinematographer has returned. Alright, there's just a long crane shot, which is also a nickname of mine. And we've arrived.
screen within screen technology. If you put that in the top left, it could be a Japanese game show. You could just have like a shot of Hamada and Matsumoto watching and making faces and laughing. Nope. Frolic a little bit, don't mind me. Hey guys, it's me, Heather. Good thing I won't remember this for next year, otherwise I would never be able to take any of this seriously. Copy that. It's playing a cutscene whenever I press the action button. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Get the hell away from me! I am... I, I'm shitting. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> That's my exact reaction. Exactly. And then the screen almost made a mouth. Just one second here, chat. Someone sent me um, another zip file with lots of cool sounds. And uh, I want to access one particular sound. Hang on. Copy that. Awesome. Music is really good. Maybe. Venny? Fox Venny? <laughs> this is a good collection. Well, you can really just, like, meme up every corruption with these sounds. Get the hell away from me! That's a good question. Ah! Oh no, the poor fish. Okay, this is the same cutscene, but, uh, alright, Elle, you get the idea. The moon is right. Come to witness the beginning. The moon is right. The rebirth of power. The moon is right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? Um. 
Yeah, no. Bye. Oh no, that's gross. So what? Remember me and your true self. As Remember well. me, Samus. Also, that which you must become. This is a spoiler the one skip. Who will lead us to paradise. Yeah, um, we they told me there would be no spoilers us. here. Claudio, right? Did you do all this? In this corruption, it says watch to the end, please. How about I just, like, shut my eyes, and mouth, and also ears. It's a big spo- okay, I'll just- I'm not looking. It's a big spoiler for Silent Hill 3. Let me know when the cutscene is over, please, chat. I, like, I'm peeking at the screen. I don't even know what the fuck that was. Okay. Don't worry, I wasn't spoiled. There was not a single spoiler at all for me. Am I massive? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Totally massive. Holy fuck. Yeah, the inventory got really messy by the time they hit Silent Hill 3, huh? No! I don't want that! That's a useful sound effect. I hate this noise so much. No! I don't want that! The name of this corruption is Pull Me Under, and then it says, Wait Until Nut. The fuck does that mean? Oh. Literal nuts. Why did I click that one? No, of all the ones I could have clicked. Fuck! Be funny, but it is. Oh, oh, this is horrendously loud. Okay. W uh, okay. Thank you. Heather, that's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. What, me? Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? H. You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. This person is made totally of meat. Brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Well, I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. You broke my grill. 
What a good collection of sounds. You don't remember? All right. <laughs> well, there's some spoilers. Chat told me to stop because, you know, spoils. But good collection of corruptions and sounds. Um, yeah, apparently, like, all of that is early game, or most of it's early game anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. But good, bizarre, loud, fucked up, strange corruptions. And, uh... Good. Someone's the oh the person who made the pack said sorry I fucked up the whole no spoiler thing. I don't really think you fully fucked it up. I won't remember it. If it was a partial fuck up, that's okay. But yeah, I think it's really only concerning because it's a game I'm definitely going to play at some point. I know that there's a man named Vincent who's made of meat. I know that the tub screams. Um, and I know that Heather grows a large neck and says, copy that. And that's it. That's all I've got, really. Copy that. I have one more collection of uh, corruptions, one more stockpile. I mean, I have more than one more, but for tonight, depending on how much corruption there is here, this isn't um, Spooptober themed or horror at all, but it's a really good game, and I'm very interested in corruptions for this particular game. It's a GameCube game. That's your hint. See if anyone can guess. Uh, nope. So far, no one got it. Not Eternal Darkness, because it's it's not um, horror-themed. Oh, you know, how about the entire Metroid Prime trilogy? Okay, now, just give me a second here. I need to configure a couple things. I need to find... I need to go to Ikea. Got it. So, uh, real quick, thank you, Nary, for vetting these. And who made these specific Metroid Prime Corruptions? Doesn't say. Nullshock78 made these Corruptions. Thank you, Nullshock. Obviously, spoilers for Metroid Prime 1. <laughs> Those are some big arms for Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. He's also been helping with the RTC. Oh, that's cool. so sick, it's fucked. I mean, it's kind of playable. Um, the doors are locked. And there's no way to avoid imminent destruction. So, that's cool, I guess. Someone in chat said, Did you seriously forget to mount and install Counter-Strike Source? That's a plus one for you. Maybe even a plus two. I'll consider it. I like how the gun rotates. Sorry, the gun arm. The arm cannon. I 
much time do we have? Oh, nine seconds. Um, those are almost numbers. Fuck, I think we have a lot more time than it seems like, so let's just keep moving. Everything is made of holograms. Which, there's an actual theory about, you know, our universe being holographic. The, the noise <laughs> that it's making, the arm cannon, it's like a, like a pea shooter. And yeah, basically doom. Yeah. The, the, the aiming reticle goes nuts. Jesus. Vinny, any chance of a Prime 3 playthrough one day? Yeah, when it gets ported to the Switch. <laughs> what do you mean, never, chat? There's a rumor every two weeks about Metroid Prime Trilogy being ported over to the Switch. And when it does, it'll be $60, and the games will be emulated poorly. And then I'll get them and then complain about the price. Um, this world is very much broken. Oh, well, yeah, the Metroid Prime Trilogy pins will be fucking awesome, but they'll sell out in 30 minutes, and there will be a conspiracy that they only printed, like, 2,000 of them. Where's Samus? Vinny, you need to recalibrate your helmet. I need, um, Adam to help me repair my helmet, and then Anthony can show up and be like, remember me? Like, nope, Anthony, I don't remember you from any of the previous games. Not- not a single fucking one! And then Adam Malkovich will have a, a portal in, you know, a building in New York City that goes into his mind. Lock on to Flagra for spin. Charge beam for effects. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is <laughs> Metroid Vapor. This is my favorite game in the series. Or Metroid Vape? The name of this corruption is RuneScape. Why are there so many Samuses? What the fuck? This kind of looks like... It kind of looks like a style from, like, um, a, like a, an anime. Like, super hot, um, or like the promo of, like, a, a movie, like a heist movie. There's, there's a couple... What game am I thinking of? There's a heist game that has a style like this. Killer7, Monaco, there you go, Monaco. Yep, that's the one. I can see a variety of different Samai at different points in my future and past. It's Tenet.
mental. Prime 2. I, um, I'm extra terrified of this particular enemy now. Let's have to adjust the volume a little bit. <laughs> Samus with the quick mo motion. The quick movement. Quick reflexes. Years of being the galaxy's top bounty hunter has taught her well, and now she can, like, she can, like, <laughs> vibrate <laughs> extensively. Of course, the molecules can vibrate through any wall. That's the vibration suit. Metroid Vape will have that as the, the third suit upgrade. Uh, sponsored by Hitachi. No, 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 I don't want to talk again. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. No. It's a vape ball. <laughs> wow, Metroid Vape is developing itself. Man, Metroid Prime 2 is such a great game. Both, all three of them are. 1 and 2 are the best. And 3 is great, too, if I remember correctly. But I know there's a lot of pointless Wii motion waggling stuff. But just such a, such a good series of games. I really hope Metroid Prime 4 is, you know, going to be good. I don't mind that it's delayed. Delay it all you want. Take your time with it. Hire as many people from the industry as you want. Just, you know. Prime 4 doesn't exist. Nari, would you say that Prime 4 is vaporware? That's no good. Holy fuck. It's like the entire sprite sheet. Like, the entire texture is, is covered in, like... Um... Plasma burns? Welcome to the disco, I guess. Okay. Just a second, chat. Again, volume needs to be adjusted a bit. I love this game soundtrack. I don't know if I like Prime 1 or 2's soundtrack better. What did I just- what just happened? Oh, Lifeguard Certification Exam is the name of this corruption. Swim! Drown! So when Samus, like, shoots enemies, does she vaporize them?
Someone said stop talking. Shit. Sheer fucking hubris. Long Troid. <laughs> nice door. Nice fucking door. I mean, just playing through even the corrupted version of Prime 2. I'm just like, man. Man, I really enjoyed my playthrough of Prime 2 a couple years back. That's why it would be, it would be really cool if there was a version of Prime 3 that had, like, gyro aiming, as opposed to the, um, the Wii stuff. Like, if they could find a way to get rid of some of the, the extra shitty motion. I mean, more than, more than anything, it was just tedious. It wasn't, like, terrible, but it was just kind of annoying. Yeah, there's a mouse and keyboard mod, though. Endless trash! Sorry, these sound effects just keep... The gifts that keep giving. The name of this corruption is Kill Beam. Holy fuck, you found the Hyper Beam? From Super Metroid? Oh wait, no, no, was it called the Kill Beam? Oh, the Murder Beam it was called. Right, right, right. Oh man. Samus, you need to get your fucking visor adjusted. power is, like, just too much for any mere mortal. Weirdly enough, the ball is totally fine. Everything else? Uh, barely functional to disturbing. Ball? No problem. Normal game. But yeah, I think that it's just the Varia suit can't handle the power of the murder beam. That's probably the problem. <laughs> I always loved the, um, the devices in the Metroid Prime series. Like, trying to figure out the practicality of why they would have ball cannons. Like, what do the people on this planet need with ball cannons that shoot in those very specific spots and angles? It doesn't... it doesn't make any sense, but that's why I like it so much. It's good. They're an advanced race of beings. And so they can do whatever they want. They could probably turn into balls if they want. Is that meat? Okay, so Samus Crab is now fighting Meatworm. That was my hand after I played Kid Icarus Uprising. The music is trying, chat. Also, look at the... <laughs> the text. Well, in fact, the entire HUD is reversed. I don't know if you caught that, but... <laughs> I 
I don't think this boss battle is going all that great. This is the result of a morph ball accident. It's like in Star Trek, they have the transporter accidents that either create clones or strange, like, slug monsters in subspace or, you know, double people or, you know, you know what I mean? In this case, if you get a morph ball accident in Metroid, Samus ends up just, like, crabbed. The name of this corruption is Obligatory Clown Vomit. Thank you. We were past due on the Clown Vomit quota. The Rainbow Beam. Clomet. It looks really cool, like, when you can see stuff, like, some of the effects. Oh, oh god. I kind of hope for Prime 4 they make the missiles feel a little bit more powerful. Like, limit the amount of missiles you collect, and make them slightly more powerful. That would be fun. <laughs> did... Did... No. What the fuck was that? Chat, what the fuck was that? Ow! Well, basically it says graffiti gun, right? And what it says to do is shoot different surfaces for different images. Which is really cool, by the way. But I saw a gnome. I'm looking for the gnome again. Wh How the fuck? That was a good gnome. That was a really good gnome. You know what? That deserves a sound effect. Do I have any gnome sound effects? Uh, in this, um... Well, I got this one. Ugh! It's diseased! I like how that sound is now preeminently associated with gnomes. Also, I just used the word preeminently without actually even knowing what it means, so... Have fun with that one, dictionary majors. Vinny, your sentence was correct? Oh, cool. There's a little bit of a Nine Inch Nails song in here at the end of Closer. I don't know if anyone hears it, it's like three notes of the end of Closer. corruption. Dark Samus is just T-posing and accepting the power. Okay.
God, this, this big. <laughs> look at Samus. Is, look at her hand on the left. What the fuck? God, these shots are massive. I guess that's needed, like, for extra power? Like, I'm- oh, oh, Samus is also T-posing. She's doing the data plus two. <laughs> Guy walks into the doctor's office. Was I funny? No. That, that's me and chat every night. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> it's Quadraxis, but small. I guess we could just run it over with the ball and be done with it. I don't think there's any, like, logical or reasonable way to actually fight this thing in its small form. So it wins by default. <laughs> so I'm wondering if I can even play this, because I can't use the controller for this one. This is Prime 3 now. So I'm going to try to use... mouse and keyboard if possible. <laughs> Paper Troid. I guess we didn't finish the, the graphics on the arm cannon, huh? It's like a kid playing with his toys. Frame cannon is one of Samus's most useful weapons. Yeah, you have a wireframe cannon and suit. Oh, it was cool. ship is wide. Stand to, Samus. Our situation doesn't look good. Doesn't look good, you're right. knocked out our generators and disabled the... This cannon was our only weapon capable. We need you and the other hunters to... I'm uploading the generator coordinates. Want to get into gameplay for a second? Someone wanted me to crop for widescreen. 
I, I hope this made the graphics better for you. The force of Samus's cannon shoots her backwards. And eventually we'll... Never mind, not even, not even worth it. I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, okay, I've only played through this game once. Is definitely not my style. Machines aren't my thing either, so I'll let you get this generator back. But I feel like I'm being spoiled. Something incredible just happened, and I don't know what it was. And now we're in heaven. Did you see the textures? Oh. It's kind of like PS1 textures. Wow. Yo, I have to I have to charge the beam to suck all of the bloom. Otherwise it gets too crazy. It's actually... It's more bagpipes pipes than... <laughs> it's more bagpipes than trumpets, though. SCOTLAND! I just heard a Super Mario World sound effect. I don't know what button that's supposed to be. <laughs> it's bound to something. There it is. Oh, I love this paint job for Samus's new ship. That is so fucking cool. Yet again, very, very aesthetic, and this is, again, you know, we're building the assets for Metroid Vape. And we just use this, no problem. That is a Mario World sound effect. That's when you spin jump on a fucking Koopa. Yeah, T. Watch your arms. Oh, oh, okay. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yeah, one day I'd like to play this game again. I, I thought it was very bold stylistically for them to go with a fully black and white and magenta color scheme. But it really pays off. She's coming too. Can you hear me, Samus? Status corrupted. Yeah, no shit. Welcome back, Samus. You've been asleep for quite some time. Stable, you say, huh? We think we lost you. Thanks to your great work, Norion is now safe. At the end of the battle, we found you and the other hunters all unconscious. I, I don't think I'm okay. Your What's even stranger is that there are no negative effects to your health. During the oh, none? Of Norian, you must have noticed some powerful troopers in new suits. We integrated this same phase on enhancement device into your armor while repairing your damaged body suit. No negative effects. Troopers wearing this device nice. have phase on pumped to their weapons from an external backpack. This gives them an extra boost in firepower. But in your case, think about it. With this phase on coursing through your body, you can fuel the PED using your own internal energy. Pretty effective, don't you think? Why don't you try the PED now? I, I can't. Um, it says here in the corruptions, look at the top left for a good face. Do we see any good faces, chat? It was at the beginning. Okay, well, we'll try again at the beginning. I was just wondering if anything else was going to happen of consequence here in this corruption here. She's coming too. Can you hear me, Samus? Yes, let me look in the top left for the face. Oh God! Oh. Welcome back, Samus. You've been asleep for quite some time. A month, to be exact. We feared we lost you. I don't see the face specifically. It's kind of you can't look up that much. But her face is definitely like her neck is stretched out and everything. Uh. Huh. Uh. All right. I missed it. No well. No worries. Uh, I'm not. She's a sleep paralysis demon. Yeah, pretty much. Chat, that's corruptions for tonight. Yeah, I have another pack, but that's the backup pack. Because um, I want to get to the other stuff that I have planned. And we're going to do that. Give me a couple minutes to take a quick break. And then I'll be back. Thank you, everybody that submitted Corruptions. And again, thank you for keeping Corruptions alive and submitting interesting games that I haven't seen corrupted before. And if you want to help out, remember to use the real-time corruptor. And you can probably Google that and find the information you need. So, uh, thank you. And thanks, Nary, and the vetting team for helping out with this stuff, too, of course. So, we're going to take a quick break. I'll be back with um, some Spooptober games, like a little pack. And then after that, we'll finish Sage 2020. And if we have time, we probably won't. I have another thing. An interesting thing with the Bing Bing Wahoo Man. Otherwise, we'll just continue on. Be back in a couple minutes.